Oh, I apologize. The video got cut off. So anyhow, I was saying that uh, because of the trigger of Article 50 next week, uh, very unlikely that you, you can have a large p buyer e buy into British pound right now. So that's why, you know, basically retail sale is not something that's going to be large enough to drive the market. So, you know, if you can get 10, 20 pips, you should be happy about it. Just a scalping base. Uh, I did got 10 to 20 pips, but I was greedy myself and maybe overestimate the impact of the retail sale data. So that was what happened to me yesterday. And uh, that's pretty much it. You know, that's all, all, the only trade I took yesterday. Uh, right now I am according to my game plan as I just tell you looking to sell I'm looking to sell Newsy and I actually got the Newsy yen now I got in at 77.93 I was waiting for 78 but again today I was a bit late we did have right after uh, London open we did have 78 that I could have gotten I didn't I missed this chain, so I got in a slightly below 78 handle. Still holding, it's a very, very small scalping base, just looking to get a few 10 or 20 pips. And uh, again, New Zealand, yen, and the reason to get in is because the trade balance and also we are at the risk of sentiment according to an uh, equity market in European market right now. Pound yen was something else that worked out pretty well. Unfortunately, I missed the trade. I was waiting for 139 handle. Again, we did have that at London Open. I was not around today. I got in my decks late. So if you got in 39, you know, you would have a very nice profit, almost 45 pips for scalping base. That's very good. Um, of course, you could hold it uh, all the way until next week. But I think yen will have some volatility later on due to the uh, Congress uh, and the healthcare bill. So just be careful uh, that might uh, rattle Japanese yen once more. But that's pretty much what I'm looking at right now. This Pang yen, New Zi yen. New Zi yen is just a daily trade. I'm, mo I'm most certainly going to wrap it up today. Pang yen, I'm, I have some you know, nice level if I can get in at 139.10, which is uh, some nice FIP level, uh, daily PV point. It's just, you know, and then you stop those above 140, 140, This, if I get in, it will be more of a swing base that I'm really looking to hold it until next week. I also have a small position on 138.88. And you know that one. If I got it, I'm only going to do a, a, a intraday base. And finally, if the healthcare bill, uh, you can trade it US dollar. You can do dollar yen, or you can also do cable. And of course, if the bill gets passed, you can buy it. If the bill is fail, you can sell it. Of course, you know we we do see some uh, US dollar recovery right now, and people were saying that's because Donald Trump is saying if the bill fails he is going to focus more on the tax reform honestly i i think if the bill fail it's really just a doubt to his ability uh overall so it doesn't matter what policy is going to focus on he needs the congress right so if the congress is not with him especially especially his own party pretty much control the congress if 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 with that much momentum, that much leverage, you still cannot pass your first important bill, just not a good sign, you know, for the market. I think people or the market general will lose confidence for this, which will be bearish for US dollar for a sentiment base. Fundamentally, of course, Federal Reserve still going to raise interest rate. That is always a back story, but uh, that's not going to drive the market for now. So that that's that's pretty much it, guys. I will uh, be back, and uh, that's pretty much the analysis what I'm going to do for now. And uh, of course, the video will be updated uh, sooner so that you can really uh, take uh, take opportunity, take advantage of it, advantage of it. Okay. So thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any question, and uh, feel free to uh, ask me.
All right, thank you. Bye bye.